Now, Andrew, this is a very fair price if anyone understood the prized asset we're buying. And Jim's built a great company. And unlike others, high growth, high profit, and cash. And so this is why I think really the most important thing for our investors, this is about lifting all of IBM, and it is accretive to our high value model. As you know, we have a high value model. So 200 basis points, Cogger, to revenue growth over five years. This is about being accretive in year one for free cash flow and gross margin in year one. And most important, we are still going to go ahead with a very strong growing dividend. And that is really key to our shareholders. We have got the financial flexibility to both organic, inorganic, continue, do this acquisition, and our and as you see right here, our dividend continued to grow. Jenny, why do you think the stock, your stock, is down by five and a half percent this morning then? Yeah, look, I think this is early. We've got to now, as we say, as we explain this to the market, I actually believe they're going to be very, very confident. Again, I gauge by the hundreds of letters and notes from clients that both of us have gotten. This is, makes perfect sense. This is what these clients tell me day in and day out they need for Chapter 2. That 80% of their work can't move without what we bring them, and they don't want lock-in. So this now changes the cloud battle to open which is what we both are together, to proprietary. And this allows them to move mission critical work safely and securely. We can secure this from the firmware up. You guys talk a lot about cyber issues. This is about making open source, safe, end-to-end, -end, mission critical work moving, accretive to IBM's high value model, strong, continued growing dividend, all around, everyone wins. Can you, though, speak to the uh, the idea that Red Hat has long been considered Switzerland, if you will? Um, they've had partnerships with so many other companies, whether it's uh, Microsoft, uh, Azure, or, or others. And how do you think that changes under IBM? Yeah, this is a really good point, Andrew, because it doesn't change. In fact, uh, again, back to one of the great things about the world is moving to open and it's multi-cloud. Our clients have five to 15 clouds already. They desperately want help to manage that and they want to move workloads between that. That's what we do here. Our hybrid cloud combined with what Red Hat has built is about making and taking workloads and moving them amongst all these clouds and safely moving data. So we welcome those partnerships. Right. In fact, actually we already manage, remember our global services business manages multiple clouds already today, and we're gonna continue to do that. So whether it's Azure, or AWS, Google, uh, the work that Jim does, we will continue that and absolutely be neutral right. for them. And yeah, Andrew, I would yeah. emphasize that even more because of this 80% of workload that needs to move and we can help accelerate that and help our customers kind of move to cloud, we will be able to bring more workloads to uh, more clouds. And so I think we'll be an even stronger partner and a faster growing partner with, with all right. the major clouds.